Have you ever pondered the question, am I being emotionally manipulated? It's not something we like to consider, yet it's more common than you might imagine. Emotional manipulation is a subtle, underhanded form of control, often employed by individuals who seek to exploit others for their own gain. It's a toxic cocktail of guilt, fear and obligation, brewed to keep you under the manipulator's thumb. Understanding emotional manipulation is crucial. It's like recognizing the invisible strings in a puppet show. It's about discerning the hidden mechanisms at play in your relationships, that subtle tug pulling you in directions you never intended. In this video, we'll delve into the convoluted world of emotional manipulation. We'll uncover the signs to watch out for, and most importantly, how to respond when you find yourself in the manipulator's grip. Knowledge is power and understanding emotional manipulation is the first step towards freeing yourself from its clutches. So, how does one identify the signs of emotional manipulation? Well, let's dive right in. Emotional manipulation can be both subtle and overt, making it difficult to recognize. However, there are telltale signs we can look out for. First on the list is gaslighting. This is a psychological manipulation tactic where the manipulator causes you to question your own reality or sanity. For instance, they might deny that certain events occurred or insist that you're misremembering things. The ultimate goal is to make you doubt your own perceptions and memories. Next, we have guilt tripping. This is when a person makes you feel guilty either directly or indirectly to get what they want. They might say things like, if you really cared about me, you would do this, or I can't believe you're being so selfish. This can make you feel like you're always in the wrong, even when you're not. Another common tactic is playing the victim. This is when the manipulator portrays themselves as the victim in order to gain sympathy, thereby deflecting blame and responsibility. For example, they might twist a situation to make it seem like they're the one being wronged, even when they're clearly at fault. Let's also talk about emotional blackmail. This is when a person uses your feelings against you to get what they want. They might threaten to harm themselves or end the relationship if you don't comply with their demands. This can create a constant state of fear and anxiety, making you feel like you're walking on eggshells. Lastly, there's the silent treatment. This is when the manipulator ignores or refuses to communicate with you as a form of punishment. It's a way of exerting control by making you feel unworthy of their attention. Understanding these signs is crucial, but remember that anyone can exhibit these behaviours from time to time. What sets emotional manipulators apart is the consistent pattern of these behaviours, often coupled with a lack of empathy and disregard for your feelings. Recognising these signs is the first step towards addressing the issue. But what's next? Now you may ask, how should I respond when I realize I'm being manipulated? Well, let's delve into that. Firstly, it's essential to set healthy boundaries. This means defining your personal space and limits and making it clear what you will not accept. This is not about being confrontational, but rather about asserting your rights and protecting your well-being. Secondly, it can be beneficial to seek professional help. Therapists, psychologists and counsellors are trained to help you navigate these complex situations. They can provide you with tools and strategies to cope and can offer a safe space for you to express your feelings without judgment. Next, communication is key. It's important to voice your concerns to the manipulator. However, bear in mind that this should be done in a calm, assertive manner. Avoid blaming or attacking as this may escalate the situation. Instead, focus on expressing your feelings and how their actions are affecting you. Furthermore, it's crucial to practice self-care. This means taking time for yourself, doing things you enjoy, and nurturing your physical, mental, and emotional health. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Above all, respect yourself. Know that you are worthy of respect and kindness. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. Stand up for yourself when needed, and remember that it's okay to walk away if a situation or relationship is harmful to you. Remember your feelings are valid, and you have the right to stand up for yourself. In the realm of relationships, understanding and addressing emotional manipulation is crucial. To recap, it's vital to recognize the signs, from guilt trips to gaslighting, and to respond appropriately with assertiveness and self-care. Remember, 
Your emotional well-being is paramount and you have the right to feel respected and safe in your relationships. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Remember, you have the power to control your emotional landscape. Stand strong against manipulation.